the 1,100 employees, approximately how many are from Tuxbury? Approximately. Um, it always have it around a third. I still think it is, but I can run that okay. for you because we used to always do reports. Because I can use that. I know. Yeah. Um, because I think we always came to the conclusion that this was the third highest employer in the, in the town. It is. And it was always the second, but the only reason why it's the third, we have a company who just came to town. But wait a minute. Was that, that, company only has, that company only has 400 employees. Oh. So you're no, still ahead of that. Yeah. yeah. You've got 1,100. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So uh, you're next to Raytheon. About well, 692 on the medical side and then the rest are on uh, DMH, but oh. it's still... Very good, uh, excellent. Uh, took and what's your uh, patients uh, survey right now? How many patients? Right now, we have 220 on the medical units and 160. So right now in this building, there are 360 individuals receiving care. And you've got programs on the campus too. Um, we have seven programs yeah. on the campus, and those camp those programs. Um, that a lot of people don't know, and I really appreciate that you share with people. They're not just here for day program. That's they right. sleep over, residential. Right. So in any given time, there's approximately 300 individuals right. receiving services. So you couple that with the 600, you're getting up there. And the about 276 employees associated with those Boy. treatment programs. Is Santa Point still here? Yes. They are. Okay. Yeah. So we, uh, they had a spokesman for Centerpoint on, I think, Channel 2. And it wasn't this program, but I guess they've got a multitude of programs. Many. Yeah. And they spoke about one of those that they had. And uh, very interesting. Yeah. We're proud, you know, yeah. with your help in, in advocating. Because earlier people get treatment, uh, they mm -hmm. can be successful right. citizens and wonderful people in their families rather than. You know, as you know, many parents call right. quite upset to help their loved ones. The uh, budget, uh, well, we put to a sub that doesn't affect the hospital budget. Everything is still pretty high. Yes, Good. we. I mean, we've got to watch. Um, you know, all the time, but we are able um, to renovate a unit. Um, we've, you know, done wonderful work Good. with DDS yeah. um, and in training um, people. And what we're preparing for is when economic times get better, not only in Massachusetts but mm -hmm. in the country. We want to be ready so that when a secretariat or yourself decides that, you know, there's another program, we want to be your first ready choice and yes. we'll be ready to go. Oh, yeah. You've done a great job. Well, you know, as I'll tell you, lots of people and, before me. Yeah, and the uh, place is just uh, so important to the community. And, uh, you know, and I appreciate these meetings. Uh, we can up I update myself and I can talk to you about uh, yeah. some of the things we see down the road, too. Yeah. Well, the other thing is with you being out in the community so much, you hear directly from from people right. about different pains right. in their lives or needs or health care needs, not not always, mm -hmm. you know, pains. And then that feedback, you know, and that's how we, um, you know, learn so much yeah. and open the detox unit. Yeah, and I'll tell you what, not to uh, digress, you know, I always tell the people that this hospital has been such a great resource uh, for the town. Uh, as I walk down Livingston Street and I see all the playgrounds and I see the elderly housing, and I see the uh, football fields and the baseball fields, and then you turn the corner and you've got the library, and yes. then you go down. All of these properties uh, uh, transferred legislatively from yeah. the hospital, uh, with people like you supporting it, uh, to the community. I feel that we've transferred at least close to 20 million, maybe even more dollars worth of property to the community too. It's been a real uh, plus for the town. And we're proud of that because um, with your taking the leadership on that, um, the community hopefully sees us as a partner that is invested in um, the needs of the community and um, the baseball field and the elderly center. That all promotes uh, wellness and yeah. recreation. And, um, and I'll say this too, uh, Wilmington, is buying a piece of property from the uh, church 
And, uh, you know, I support it. They're buying a piece of property. They're spending, I think it's over a million dollars. I think it's about a million, I'm guessing, three. But I don't think I'm too far off. A million three for about six or seven acres. And as I said, what a great resource we've got. We have never had to pay for any of this property. And, uh, you know, you take that beautiful library out there. And at one time, uh, John O'Brien called me up. Remember John, the senator? He said, Jim, they want to put a, an amendment on the uh, bill that you're going to have to buy the property. The town's going to have to either buy it or lease it. We, uh, I uh, rewrote the uh, legislation and uh, had it uh, in kind for some other transaction, and we got it free of charge. But you take where that uh, library sits, it's just magnificent, you know. People, people don't realize this is a, this is the most significant hospital. And of course, I'm a bit jealous and uh, got it jealously. But uh, you know, you get the Shattuck, which uh, has a significant population and a really uh, a real different kind of population than we do. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Is I, they understand that the, the housing prisoners there. Yeah, they have yeah. a contract with yeah. the Department of Corrections, Corrections yeah. um, to deliver services, oh, health care services, surgery, ambulatory. Yeah, it's Very good. in that urban setting, it's a little bit different. But your Tewksbury Hospital is the largest. Yeah, fantastic. The largest in, uh, in, uh, in serving patients, uh, largest in um, acreage. You know, that right. you've shared with the town for their needs and recognizing the municipality right. that you and represent. I, the uh, other situation, uh, I remember when uh, our good friend Phil Johnson was the uh, Secretary of Human Services, he'd come before the Ways and Means Committee and say, don't worry, Jim, I'm not touching it. It's being fully funded. And it was great having him there at that time. 